Hello everybody! We are going to play some coin crypt today! Yay! So this time I'm trying a new thing where I'm going to do a tutorial type video. So yeah... <laughs> it's a new thing, don't hate me for it. I'm not good at it, so... This is coin crypt and... As you can see, we're... It's not a... Really graphic game, it's simple... It's... It's nice. It's, you move your character with the mouse. Um, you can unlock new characters by playing the game. But we are gonna play with the default character. So you can play this game with the keyboard or mouse. I like playing with the mouse. You can just click and move around or you can use the arrow keys. And we're gonna get started just walking through the start mission. And I'm gonna explain the game as we play through, so don't expect me to get too far because I'm explaining things. So, as you can see, you have basically they're called coins. Let's choose to spend a coin, it says. So, as you can see, that said hit four, and you can see the health bar of the enemy. And. Basically, you use shield 4, makes you absorb 4 damage without getting hit, and they slowly wear down. So, as you could see, we use 2 coins there. That's because if you draw 2 of the same coins, they stack and you can use them together. So, that's what happened there. Also, I want to point out that you only draw 3 coins at the same time. So. If two of those three are the same, then you get a stack. If not, you get three coins. You click on the bag on the corner, you can see what you have. And here we have some chests that you can just walk into. And as you can see this specific chest, you can take five coins. And your choices would be on this side, which are regenerate HP, hit four, or heal. What I normally did like to do, which has worked for me, so I'm guessing it's the best technique to use, is taking most of them being attack coins, and always taking a heal or a shield. As you can see, it added the coins to our, to our bag. And you can see an amount of money on the bottom, we'll get to that when we run into a shop. If we don't run into a shop, I'll just explain it. This coin, you can see it's hit 2, it's worth $5, and it takes 1 to cast, which I don't know exactly what it means, but it's just, if it has a 1, it casts faster than a coin that has a 2. So, we grab a, find a chest, and we take our coins. That was a small shield. Also, I'm gonna point out that on these forest levels, there are secrets and they're hidden by the trees, so you always want to walk against them to check if there's a secret there. That's always a good habit to get into. Also in these earlier levels, it's really nice to just explore the whole level. You can see it's using a hit 4, so that's why I shield it. And there I used two coins just to cast really fast and kill it before it could hit me again. But I could have re-rolled my hand and have been more efficient since I had 1 HP. I could have just hit him for 2 with a small coin. Yeah. Here's another new coin. Hit 4 and heal 2. It's a really good coin. In my opinion it's better than the hit 4 coin. So I like those. I always take those over anything else. And as you can see in the bottom left, there's a map where you can see what you've explored. So we can go around and explore everything. Should have used the vampire coin to heal some. Since we have 6 out of 10, our HP is in the bottom. Here's another new coin where we can steal an enemy's coin. And that's really good because you lose the game when you run out of coins. Enemies too, if they run out of coins they lose and you win automatically. And then we have these shrines. The statue honors the deity Sakajuwea. So 
So you can see it's a green shrine, the color is green. That means if you give it a coin that's green, on the next level you get a special chest with a special green drop. We'll probably get to see that when we go through. I'm gonna use one of those hit two enemy drops a coin. They're really good. Later on in the game where you don't want to fight the enemy, you just want it to drop all its coins. That's another strategy you can use. Just steal two coins, then we can heal. That's really bad that it used up a shield. Normally you want to kill enemies fast enough so you can get the coin. That's a shield. It's a coin. They use up a coin and you don't get it in the spoils. The spoils you get whatever coin the enemy has left. I usually take shields over healing. As you can see, there's no open rooms in the map. We don't have a shield, although since there was a key, it's most likely that there is a secret. I said shield instead of secret. Secrets. Would have been nice to have a key. Again, we're checking by the trees. And this, this enemy, you can see it's tinted green. That means it's kind of like an elite monster from like you would see in other games. It has more HP and more coins. Usually I want to dodge those, like run through them and lose them, but it's not going to be possible here. Hit for f it has a lot of HP, so I kind of don't want to kill it. I kind of just want to make it run out of coins, but also it has a lot of coins and I might, I might get a good one out of this. Like if we kill it, we'll get two attack coins, two hit four coins, and three hit twos. That's really good. And here you can see we have a shop. On the top it says rubber shoes run faster. If you walk to the other one, monocle get new hand faster. Or the messenger back, draw more stacks. That means when you you have a higher chance to draw the same coin, basically. I probably said cards in this video, but they're called coins. I just... It plays like a card game, really. So here, if you click on an item, let's click on this one. One I would actually want to buy. And you saw that it was worth 170? 170, and you can see how much we have in the bottom. 320. So here in the bottom, you see... 175 out of 170, you can sell your coins value. I usually like to take off the attack coins and see what I have left. And looking at this, I don't want to sac like trade any of my coins for this. So we're not going to buy that item yet, if at all. You see this, this path is locked and we don't have a key. So if we get a key, I'll show how that works. And another fight. There's a lot of fighting. And it, like I said, it's really not worth skipping the fights. Oh, it took a little long there. But yeah, I wanted to heal there. Yeah, hit two, slow enemy, and boost speed. And here we have another green shrine. I always like to get one, even though it's my last shield. The Sakajuia seems pleased. It's always going to say that if you donate the right color coin. This one is blue, so I'm going to sacrifice a blue coin. And here you see a chest that's surrounded by a green aura. That's from when we donated last level. It means that it's going to give us a special type of coin. Right there it says hit 2, heal 1. That's really good. But we need shields, so we're going to take 3 of them. And the rest we're gonna take these hit to heal one. I'll just take it. So that was a lucky draw from that chest. Uh, sits. Yeah, we can use four. I don't know why that hit sits instead of four. I don't know what dictates when you do extra damage. It might have had a debuff that I did not notice. That might be what happened. Not sure. 
Yeah, you usually just want to click your coins as fast as possible. Because the enemy keeps casting while you're not doing anything. Although they will cast slower while you're while you're choosing coins. Checking if I have a key now. So I'm gonna explain that room with the with the key symbol. Basically, when you have that kind of block, it means there's a dungeon on the other side. There's a ladder. You can see it right there. That's when they have that golden border and they're tinted this color. Some of them are a different color. They're just kind of orangish. That just has a chest behind it, or an enemy, or an enemy and a chest. So you use you have two different types of keys. You can see we have a ch shop on the other side there. Just walk around, check around the trees if they're in our way. Just making sure if there's a secret. Here you can see the the locked chest, and you can see it has a blue a blue outline to it. That means it might it's not might it's going to have an extra blue coin, which is a healing coin, which is good. So same here, we want to donate one coin. That's gonna let us get one extra type of coin from the chest. So here, I'm gonna steal a coin, then shield, then steal another coin, and then try to steal that coin before it uses it, but I, I didn't make it, so I just wasted a coin. Take the attack coins. This blue square you see here, some levels have them, most of them them don't. You can click your bag and donate coins and depending which type of coins you get, you donate is how much health you will heal. But as soon as you use it, they, it will become inactive and you can't use it again. So, gotta be really careful. And here we have a different item that's really good. Magic pants, you get more from chest. When you buy magic pants, you get you get to pick one more one more coin than you normally would. Which is really good. I already donated to that. I I think also that if you donate a certain amount, you get two extra coins from the chest. I don't know if it's extra amount or or just um what am I thinking of? It's an extra amount or it depends on how many shrines you donate to. This, I'm gonna use my last shield. It's usually worth it to donate instead of keeping your coins. I wanna kill this one really fast. This type of enemy only has attack coins and this one can hurt a lot. Hit 7 and hurt, hurt to, to yourself. So you can get one shot at by that enemy really easily. I take one healing coin since we don't have shields, so it can get dangerous. But we can heal up. This is one of my least favorite type of attacks, poison enemy. It does so much damage over time. But also once you finish the battle you can just wait for it to run out, which is nice. But you can also just I'll take a shield. You can just leave the map and it'll go away. That's something. If you finish the map, you can just walk out and not have to deal with it. You can see there I outran the enemy so I could get the chest before I fought it. Nor sometimes you can do that, but most of the time they're faster than you and you can't do that. So. Ah, uh, these enemies have reverse hit and heal, so they're a little more difficult to kill. Kinda wasted that, I should've just waited for its attack. Yeah, so it runs out of coins and and you win the, the fight. Sometimes I say duel because, again, it feels like a card game. Let's steal a coin. These ones, you don't want to let them, like you don't want to make them run out of coins because they will steal your coins and then use them against you. So you want to kill those. 
I'll take those two shields. There's also mimics, and that feels like a mimic. There's normally only one chest per area in the map. So, there's sometimes enemies that look like chests. Can I give you a blue coin? But this one wasn't. It was just... The map, the two chests were just close to each other. Also, could have skipped this enemy. Poison again. Since I have shields, I'll use those. They hurt you by two each. But that enemy has a attack that will make you miss when you use a coin, and it's really a bad way to just toss your coins and lose them all. Have a one with a special kind of heal. Since it's only two, I'm not gonna take it. Because I only have two, and if I use it, I'll only heal for one. So. This is there, I skipped the shrine. It wasn't worth the fight, since I'm poisoned, and I don't want to waste time waiting. Normally, I would wait for the poison and try to fight. Normally, I wouldn't have gotten that chest because this enemy has a lot of health. But we can wait him out by using that smoke screen kind of attack. We'll fail attack, so I'll just shield up and just wait him out. Maybe try to steal a coin, but again, I failed and wasted the coin. So I don't want to be doing that. You can see we're poisoned, so we want to heal as much as we can. It's not running out of coins either. So this is gonna get really dangerous. Yeah, I'm gonna shield up so it counteracts the poison. Yeah, I'm gonna let it run out of coins. Yeah, I'll use regeneration so I don't die from poison. And... I only have one shield this time, so I don't want to use it there. We're gonna die really soon. Again, this is a dungeon. It's... You usually get rare treasures there that give you a lot of money, but you don't get a lot of useful coins, so... If you're not prepared, I wouldn't go there. And after the forest levels, you can go in there for free. So again, since I'm just doing this video, I'm gonna fight this enemy while I'm still poisoned. Which, which is something you normally wouldn't do because... Again, you... You... Uh, lose a lot of health from poison. And you want to keep your health up. Do you want to donate? A blue coin so I get more healing. So again, we're gonna hit two and make him drop a coin. That'll make it so it can only use a, one coin. Although it's gonna steal one of mine. So that wasn't that good a choice. Yeah, we, we killed it. And you just want to get through the level, try to stay alive, try to get as many coins as possible. Keep your health up. That's the most important thing you gotta do. Take care of your health. If you lose all your health, you lose the game. Just waiting for that. For that enemy to use up all its coins and... I didn't want to waste anything on it. So I grabbed that chest and I'm running away. This I want to fight for since it's a large chest and it's going to give me a lot of coins. Even though we're going to die here, definitely, from the poison. As I said, poison is really bad on this game. It kills you so fast that it's really not something you want to deal with, as you saw there. But here we got... Actually, attack coins. 
Normally we would add heals. So we're gonna take a lot of attack coins. This one, you see it's very rare. It doesn't do anything, but it's worth more, so you can use it at shops. Again, right now I'm more worried about my attack capabilities. So we're gonna be skipping that. I'm gonna try to skip that enemy, just because of the poison. Oh, and I forgot to say, on these level levels there's secret secrets as well. They're by these blue pillars, so you wanna check all of them. These shadow enemies, they I think they won't do damage to you. Oh yeah, they have attack coins. They usually give you cursed coins that subtract from your money and you can't easily get rid of them. I don't really f like fighting those. Normally if you have fast running, you would just not fight them and go and try to dodge them. But since we're not fast enough can't really use that strategy. Do I have a shield? No, I only have one and I'm not gonna sacrifice it. So checking for secrets since I have one coin. Blue is healing so I can use a small healing coin. And we don't want to use up all our keys. And now we're just, we just gotta get really lucky with our healing coin and hopefully that misses or we're dead. We don't have healing so we might die here. Really? Just wanna pull up a healing coin. And we died, you saw we, we had zero, zero health so we die. That's just what happens. You were killed by a swamp thing in level 6. Yeah, it's gonna say what level you died on, what you were killed by. Click to continue. And total earned. This number is how many... All the coins you got throughout the game added up. And you use them to unlock characters. You see, I... There's normally, I think, 10 characters that you can unlock. And I have most of them, so... The amount of coins you need goes up every time you unlock a character so that's why it's worth 40,000 I think the first one is worth like a thousand let's show the enemies you have the adventurer it's a balanced character the shroud gets no treasure from chest but saps enemies coins archer powerful fighter but only one HP I haven't been able to play as this character and like get too far into the game since you die in one hit Really hard. The thief gets more loot for less health. The witch doubles to uses every coin but drops one too. Assassin damage is boosted but healing is reduced. It's also a good character to use. This one, the princess, is really hard to get through the first levels, but if you get to the later levels, she's really good. Coins are worth more. The more shops you get, the stronger she gets. Ghost gets more loot in stacks but drops coins. Every time you attack, he drops a coin. Monkey always uses every coin health but casts slow. Also, a character I don't like since you go through coins really quickly. Templar always regenerating but weak healing. Again, another character I don't like because the regeneration is really slow. Professor, this is my favorite character. Can redraw coins instantly, but coins don't stack. That makes it so you only you don't get stacks, so you only use one coin every turn, which makes you use them more efficiently. The bard draws more coins, but damage and healing are weaker. Haven't played with the bard, seems really good. And the hermit finds more coins, but they are worth nothing. Another character I don't know how to play well, but seems like it's really good from the description. And that's really gonna be it. Did I miss anything? Oh yeah, something really important and nice about the game. There's daily challenges like there is in Spelunky. And you can only do them once. As you can see here it's locked so I can't do it again. Right there it says 
how much money I got into this challenge, 7915. And you can see we are in 8th place in the world. So, I did good. I did good. Normally, I get in the top 10, but then there's not that many people playing since it's early access. So that's one thing. Got the menu here, you can check how many your completion rate. I only gotten 54 of the coins in the game. You can see how many monsters you've killed. And this is... Achievements? Yeah. You got your settings, full screen, music, how to choose from chests, how to choose from shops. And that's it. Again, this is my first go at a tutorial type video, so don't be too hard on me on the comments. And I would really appreciate some some tips on how to do tutorial type videos, or if I shouldn't do them. You know, that kind of stuff. So, again, like, favorite, or share the video. Whatever you want to do. If you want to, you can do it. If you don't, I won't be mad. So, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.